In the English language, each letter of the alphabet represents one sound. The Egyptian language is not always so. Some hieroglyphs, many of the most frequently used signs, do represent a single consonant, like in English. For example, the owl sign is the letter M. It's called a one consonant sign. However, some signs represent two consonants or three consonants. As I mentioned in the previous post, the Egyptians didn't write vowels. All hieroglyphs represent consonants. For example, the hieroglyph for house represented the sounds P and R, making per, two consonants. Therefore, the house glyph is a two consonant sign. Here's a few more examples. Some of these may already be familiar to you. Chem is used in the word Kemet, the ancient Egyptian name for Egypt. Su is part of the word Nesu, meaning king. Mez, Uza, Hetep and Nefer are all words which are in names you'll know, such as Ramses, Senuzret, Amenhotep and Nefertiti. And finally, you may see alternative sets of terms being used by some Egyptologists. These are uniliteral, biliteral and triliteral, or monoconsonantal, biconsonantal and triconsonantal.